Welcome to the Green Streets Forum, where we discuss the topics and trends focused on environmental responsibility and green awareness. We're spreading the message about sustainability with a goal to share this information with a diverse community. We all know so that we all grow. And now let's jump into today's episode with your host, Kimberly Bullock. All right, Green Streets Forum listeners, hope you have your walking shoes on. Here we are with another episode. I've been away for a while, but that's okay. We're back and ready to go. And I am so pleased to be here and welcoming and Mr. Omar Riahi or yes. Raihi. That's, that's I got a, it right the first time? Yes. The I sound oh like Oh my e. gosh. I am so happy, Mr. Omar Riahi. Can I call you Omar though? Is yeah, that fine? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And you are with Percepta? Yes. Okay. Um, I guess the thing that drew me to getting in contact with you is because um we are a green um, emphasis, the emphasis of this podcast is sustainability and environmental responsibility. So when we heard about you, of course, we wanted to reach out to you. Um, I am an EV driver myself, team Polestar. I, I do have Polestar. a Polestar. And aren't they amazing? Absolutely. Volvo did not know what they were doing, but I love them. I love my Polestar. So that's why I wanted to reach out to you. So if you can go ahead and tell our Green Street listeners about yourself and what you do. I'm Omar. I work with Percepta. We are a global automotive BPO company. That's a business process outsource company for automotive seat customer experience. We are a joint venture between a leading global automotive OEM and T-Tech. T-Tech is a global customer experience company. And we handle the contact centers for all sorts of cl- for automotive clients. So we are we handle their apps, chats, emails, dealers, uh, approvals, all sort e- anything and everything under the sun you can think of. Also, not just retail, fleet, telematics, uh, EV charging, energy services, grid services. And we're global. We're in every market, Europe, APA, Asia, Pacific area, Australia, Mexico, South America, everywhere. Oh Middle my gosh. East, uh, and Middle East and um, South Africa. I'm getting breathless just yeah. hearing about all of that. That is that is amazing. Um I think the interesting thing about it is just you are covering so many bases. Yep. And um, you know, the bulk of my listeners, a lot of them, um, the the crux of where we are, we're in urban urban centers and, and urban communities. So certainly I am sure that you are in that venue. Absolutely. So everywhere. yeah, I was gonna say everywhere, that. everywhere obviously. Um where what, what I, I remember hearing something about customer experience is something that you are um, focused around. So can you tell me a lot about that? Because when we looked at your bio, it did have something to do um, a lot about the customer experience. So can you can you kind of expound more on that? Absolutely. Companies like Percepta play a pivotal role in enhancing every stage of a customer journey. We own the entire customer lifecycle from incentives to the end of it and the support, onboarding, concierge experience, app support. But my favorite quote to explain it is, you design the customer experience and work your way back to the technology. That was Steve Jobs who said that, who changed and disrupted the industry with the iPhone. Okay, okay. Um, and so one of those things let's let's touch upon the electric vehicles because again um what our focus here has to do with the sustainability piece so can you talk to me a little bit more in depth about those EV the EV adoption the electrical vehicles and how how that part is into play i'd really like to hear if you could dig deep a little bit into that absolutely EV adoption is absolutely happening on a global scale China, the automotive largest automotive market in the world, is just absolutely 
killing it with EV adoption. Now, hybrids and plug-in hybrids are co counted as EVs in the numbers, but the absolute true country that is leaving the way is Norway, and they have reached 97% EV adoption, and they are just absolutely doing it completely they did it perfectly. Over 10 years, they incentivized EV purchases, incentivized charging infrastructure, and now that last 3% is what we call the laggard phase for a disruption, a disruption S curve, and those are the ones that are kind of being taxed into compliance in Norway. But it is, it's, it's happening everywhere on a global scale, and I mean, the Chinese OEMs, Polestar is one of them, they are moving Every, they're penetrating every market. They are not scaling down their production with local market saturation. They are just exporting to other markets and disrupting every, every industry. I believe it. And so when you say that you are a vehicle optimization specialist, because that, yep. that is your role, what exactly does, that, like, what do you, because that, that's a very lofty. When I hear that I am a vehicle optimization specialist, when, when you say that, tell me exactly, like, what does that entail? So I am a Lean Six Sigma black belt. I'm a certified cognitive project manager in AI. I also have certifications in demand energy response systems, multifamily residential EV charging infrastructure. What I do is I look at the customer journey and I... I remove friction points and pain points. In other words, bottlenecks. And it's part of Lean Six Sigma where you just keep optimizing the process and reducing friction. Perfect example, Tesla. There's four steps to purchasing a car. Compare that to legacy automotive, there's a couple more steps. I think it was like nine or 18 in the way. But that is a frictionless customer experience. And that's what I do. I optimize the customer experience to make it as seamless as possible. Uh, a great example I can give is charging. When it comes to charging, w what are the pain points when it comes to paying for, for your charging? Credit card readers, apps, the charger not working. The simplest path of that would be plug and charge. You just plug the vehicle in and it charges. That is a frictionless customer experience. And that is what I do. I look at the customer journey. I map it out in a process map and I eliminate pain points and automate what I can and just reduce the friction of the customer experience on, on the other end. Okay. So let me tell you, cause I'm thinking about that. Um, cause I told you that, um, our biggest goal when I think about our listeners is that with EV adoption, a lot of these things are coming into our cities. And so yep. when you mentioned a uh, multifamily housing, yep. you know that a lot of the multifamily housing, you do have the influx of people purchasing EV charging. So as these um, apartment complexes and condos and townhome uh, villages are being built, I'm assuming that you would be some you would be somebody that may be involved in that process as they're in the development of the, the charging system. Am I correct? Would you be somebody that they would consult? Uh, they can hire per, me from Percepta for consulting services, but I'm more of when the charger's installed and it's not working, they contact okay. us. We're, 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 okay. the, we're the people you call when it doesn't charge or when your app's oh, okay. not working or your payment was denied or the vehicle is not turning on. We are the, the support, technical, think of us as technical support or customer service. Okay. That's okay. Us. But you would still, okay. So I'm assuming that probably, um, the cities would probably call upon a company like you. Yep. Contra they would probably look for you maybe as, as a contracting. The cities may contract you. I'm so assuming like you could be contracted by the city to do something like that. My assumptions would be correct. We, I don't think we, we could. I'm not Percepta because we're strictly automotive, but that would be our parent company, T-Tech, which we can absolutely okay. do that. Now, the way to think of it is our clientele is mostly automotive brands large global oh, automotive okay. companies. I'm getting okay. And it's, so it's, yeah. when or charge point operators or fleet managers or fleet telematics companies or you know energy utility companies that have uh, demand response programs that's what that's what we are but the, the way to think of it is like uh, 
to think of it is whenever you have a problem with your vehicle at a charger, do you, most people don't call the charge point operator because there's so many of them. They call the badge on the vehicle, and that's us. And that so we, we do you. everything, yes. We do everything from payment, home charging, public charging, home integration systems, uh, bi-directional charging, fleet charging, fleet depot managers, software subscription, every, every aspect of your vehicle we cover. Electric, gas, fleet, doesn't matter. That's us. Even the apps, the websites, payment issues, all of it, that's us. And our so you're coming company. to save the day. You yes. come to save the day. Absolutely. Okay. I, I love oh, to say wow. when it comes to home charging, it, a home charger is not really an accessory because if it, your vehicle doesn't charge, you don't go anywhere. It's what we like to call an escalated customer event. So we have to do real-time troubleshooting and current first call resolution on concern resolution on the very first attempt. In other words, we solve the problem, get you charging again, and on your way. This is really good. I think my listeners would really, really be interested. And you are located in the, you are in the DMV area. I I am in Houston. Uh, our main headquarters is in Dearborn, Michigan. We have offices in Denver, Melbourne, Florida, uh, Tempe, Arizona. We're all over the United States and then globally too. We have I think thirty nine hundred employees and sixty sites. But we can also leverage our parent company, T Tech Sites, which they're everywhere too. Oh wow! Okay, that is that is amazing. I just want you to know that this has been a really interesting conversation. And um, if if I can if I can say this, I really look for companies like you to continue on as we because I know we're in kind of a turbulent time right now when it comes to and again I tell people all the time this is not a political show by any stretch of the imagination but I find with sustainability and and environmental responsibility it's kind of been kind of it's just been very turbulent now but companies such as yours it's good to know that you're still in the fight and you are still um, there when we need you. So I am certainly glad that you took this time and definitely I'm going to, um, I'm going to promote you on our uh, site. And do you have a website? We do. It is percepta.com. It's very simple. Percepta.com. All right. Green Street people, if you if your EV charger by any stretch of the imagination, if you need them, companies, if you um are looking for people to troubleshoot and help and save the day, I'm thinking about Mighty Mouse. I'm dating myself. I'm in my fifties. If you have any desire, please reach out to Mr. Right E Riahi Omar Riahi. I said it. Yes. Correctly with Percepta.com. It's been a pleasure. It has been an absolute pleasure talking with you at this time. Thank you so much. And um, again, it's been a pleasure. I really appreciate you taking this time. I, I will say one last thing. It, when it comes to EV adoption, the companies that have strong customer service and support will will change the game. because. EVs are new to everybody. So without that reliable support mechanism behind it to help you and educate you how to utilize the vehicle, the service, the charger, it, 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 it'll, it'll make and break the difference between a successful company, a successful product launch with CX support. Oh, you know, I do have a question. Um, so are you all brand loyal? Is it ABB, Evgo, um, ChargePoint? Um, you know, Electrify America, are there any particular companies or are you just with lots? I mean, you know what I mean? Like there are so many, we you have, know. We have yeah. nine automotive clients and we support their apps and whatever is in their network of chargers, which is everybody. All those companies you named, we ha we, we support them. We support troubleshooting. We do it. We, we support the, pro the, the vehicle, which is agnostic sometimes of the charger, but we also support CPOs. We have a CPO as a, uh, in, our, in our client portfolio. And so when a customer has an issue, they call in. We look inside that we, we use the open charge point protocol. We look inside the charger, see if it's faulted, what the issue is, recommend troubleshooting steps, and get the customer charging along the way. 
And and worst case scenario, if it's like a stuck charger in the charge point, we are also roadside. So we will get them over to our roadside team who engages the, the tow provider to come out there and help them. Okay. That's good. That's good to know. I mean, all of that, all of that, it, it, it affects so many people. I, I, I can, you know, and uptime is important Yep. because sometimes when you're at the charger and, you know, I've been at sometimes where there's two chargers and there's one that's down. So you've got three people waiting for one charger. And yep. if there's somebody like you, that could really help. Because I know uptime can be an issue. So um, if you can increase that uptime, I know. That is absolutely one of the most important metrics, especially for fleet customers. Fleet managers want their vehicles up and running and in service when they, they actually measure downtime. So uptime is a crucial industry metric when it comes to fleet and retail and chargers. Because uptime absolutely. equals utilization rates, higher utilization rates. Absolutely. And um, we're actually going to have a show um, where we talk about the um, all of the vernacular and everything about EV charging because we haven't had that yet. So, you know, if you want to tune in, then you can let me know if I'm saying everything correctly. You can correct me. I'll, I'll let you know when we have that show. But yes, we are going to tell this. You tell the listeners about uptime and and all of that. You know, the difference between DC and, and you know, level two and level three. We haven't had that one yet, but we will. So oh, well, definitely. I I will, yeah, if, I will be happy to provide any information you'd like because we haven't even touched the future state of energy services with vehicle to load, vehicle to home, and vehicle to grid, and vehicle to everything. Those uh -huh. are where your EVs can be used as energy assets, and you make money from your energy company by putting power on the grid. But that, there are so many things. I do. I definitely want to do something like that. I, I'm thinking about doing a panel actually about ev chargers and um you know we may ask you to come back for that so oh, i'll be in touch please absolutely I would you're be stuck honored. with me i'd be honored to it's it's i as you can tell i'm extremely passionate about evs oh, and yeah. i love to talk about them and uh it is it's one of my favorite things i i'm that's why i love working here did you go to i mean this is an aside but did you go to the ev expo have you do you go to the ev expo in vegas uh, so ironically, yeah, I will mention this for TJ Burtwell or BJ Burtwell. I'm speaking at the Electrify Expo in Dallas in November on November 15th at 1:30 p.m. on the EV Real Talk stage, and it is okay. one of the best places I recommend consumers to go. It's a consumer-facing show. All the auto automotive companies are there. You can test drive. You can drive e-mobility scooters. You can see hot laps. You can get your questions answered. And I will be on the EV Real Talk stage at 1.30 p.m. on November 15th in Dallas at the Dallas Electrify Expo. All right. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it from him. Not me. Okay. See, I wanted, I knew there was some extra time I would have something to say. Okay, Omar, it's, it's, you, it's official. You're stuck with me. I, I want you to stay in touch. Okay? Absolutely. All right. Take care. This episode of the Green Streets Forum is powered by USB. Solar Solutions, distributor of Sunsight, a solar-powered signage lighting the way to a cleaner and brighter future. If you enjoy today's conversation, visit usbsolars.com to learn more.